Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today we're reviewing a bottle that I have been looking forward to for quite a while. We're reviewing one of my favorite releases of the year. We're tasting Bardstown Bourbon Company's first discovery release in 2021. It's Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series number five. Before we even start this video, I want to tell all of you out there that you will not be the world's top whiskey taster because that's me forever. But you can earn the title of world's top whiskey taster this year by going to www.worldstopwhiskeytaster.com and entering a nationwide challenge to find who will be the 2021 world's top whiskey taster at Bardstown Bourbon Company. If you even have the slightest bit of motivation in your heart to enter world's top whiskey taster, do it. Because dang it, could be you. Because it could have been this. And it was. This son of a bitch is cask strength coming in at a whopping Maybe not whopping. Coming in at 52.35% alcohol by volume, 104.7 proof. If you're unfamiliar with the Discovery series from Bardstown Bourbon Company, what they're doing is sourcing a bunch of different bourbons from all over the United States, and then using those sourced bourbons to put together the best product they possibly can. Before we go any further, I think it's only fair to let you know that this bottle was sent to me by Bardstown Bourbon Company. I will not let that affect my feelings of this. Promise. Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series 1. Awesome. Series 2. Friggin' awesome. Series 3. Oh, maybe the best one of the bunch. Series 4. Maybe even better, possibly even better. Let's just say that the Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series have all been ridiculous and amazing. Will number five carry on the tradition or will it come up a little bit missing? There's only one way to find out. Let's discover what's underneath the cork of this son of a mother. <gasps> America, what the heck? Cork is different. Synthetic cork, not quite as heavy. Hmm. Nailed it. Conspiracy theory time. Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series 5 Cork. 30 grams. America. Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series 2 Cork. 61 grams. I knew it. This 60 gram son of a bitch is twice as heavy as the new cork. This is like a solid son of a bitch and the other one is not. Old cork, new cork. Old cork, new cork. Heavy, not heavy. Real cork, synthetic cork. You could literally stop a home invader with this cork. You could literally not stop a home invader with this cork. Discovery Series, blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. Discovery Series number five is a blend. 31% 13-year Kentucky bourbon, 25% 17-year Tennessee bourbon, 25% 7-year Kentucky bourbon, and 19% 6-year Kentucky bourbon. This is the youngest Discovery Series to date and the first Discovery Series to include Tennessee bourbon in it. We are the modern bourbon experience. No myths, no legends, except for me. World stop whiskey taster, no big deal. You know what they say, a dizzy whiskey's a good whiskey. Remember that. And if you can't remember it, then write it down. Spinning and twisting and swirling out of control. It's like a shape-shifting tornado. Look out, Dorothy which is my middle name. Here comes the twister, but just before it rams full force F5 into your friggin' garage, it stops. And you have to stop to smell the storm. Strawberry sugar wafers. You know those packs of sugar wafers? 
They come in like chocolate and vanilla and strawberry. This smells like a strawberry sugar wafer. What the heck? This smells like a multi-pack of sugar wafers. Strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla sugar wafer. Definite candy bars in here as well. Like a Three Mouseketeer bar. Definite nougat. Definite milk chocolate. A tinge of peanut. A tinge of peanut. It's like a Butterfinger bar that you forgot in your pantry for a couple, five, ten years. Super nice nose. A little citrus on there. A little orange citrus. The color is really nice. Like a mud-covered turn signal on a school bus. The nose definitely has a lot to offer. And I like that. I like that about a bourbon. Only one thing left to do, and that's to down this kangaroo. And by kangaroo, I mean marsupial. Because it's got a pouch. And I'm about to pouch this son of a bitch. I got like a strawberry cake right away, like a strawberry shortcake. I've been getting that note a few times lately, but this bourbon is very sweet and it's got like the artificial strawberry and cake mixed together. On the finish, it's kind of like a peanut brittle. The second sip is bringing out a little bit of bitterness on the mid palate, sweetness up front, a little bit of bitterness riding the mid and back palate. It's coating the mouth kind of like on the top of the tongue and underneath the tongue towards the back of the mouth. It's not really enveloping the entire mouth. The oiliness factor is pretty good. Not fantastic, not great. This is definitely the most unique Discovery series released to date. This one, I can already tell you, some people are gonna love this, some people are gonna hate this. The nose is definitely where this bourbon shines. Compared to what I'm used to from the Discovery series, the palette and the finish leave a little bit to be desired, but it's still good. The first sip was like flavor explosions and like twists and turns and making you wonder what was going on, what the heck was happening. The second sip was a little bit less of that, and the third sip is even a little bit less. Of course, this is a super premium bourbon whiskey, so I'm critiquing it especially hard. I'm remembering Discovery 1, 2, 3, and 4, and I'm putting those expectations into a brand new whiskey, with brand new whiskeys blended into it, and it's totally unfair. This is not Discovery 4 or 3, this is Discovery 5. Completely different animal. It's like a wolverine and a badger got drunk, mated, had a baby, and it's a wadger. It's a wadgerine. This is a friggin' wadgerine. It's got claws and teeth and talons and a mean ass attitude. And also can't reproduce. I'm gonna be totally honest and say that my review of this bottle could possibly change in a couple months after this SOB gets some air. I enjoy this quite a bit. I'm super happy I have a bottle and I will be buying a backup. If that tells you anything, I will be buying a backup. As with any whiskey above $100, I'll always say try before you buy. Unless, of course, it blows my damn hair off my head. This is no exception. I say that this flavor profile might be directly up a lot of people's alleys and directly up a lot of people's asses. And just people are going to love this. On the other hand, there might be some people who do not like this flavor profile. I don't wanna be the guy telling you to spend $130 on a bottle of bourbon you get at home and don't like it. That's not my angle here. My angle here is to tell you how I feel and to tell you to try it before you buy it. And of course, that's what I'm telling you to do today. And if you can't hear that, then clean out your ears, buster. It's what I'm saying. Thank you, Bardstown Bourbon Company, for sending me the bottle. Super duper appreciate it. Can't wait to see what's coming up in the future. Can't wait to come down there in September and mix up my own blend with Steve Nally. Super excited about that. Just one of the perks of being the world's top whiskey taster. In ADHD Whiskey's brand new scoring system rubric or whatever you call it. 
Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series 5 is very good. I score Discovery 5 a 7.9. It still amazes me the crazy things and the crazy blends they're putting together over at BBC down in Bardstown, Bardstown Bourbon Company, the masters of blending. That's how I feel. Bardstown Bourbon Company can take chicken shit and turn it into chicken salad. They're the masters of blending down there, and they're the new age of blending, and they're pretty kick-ass. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on putting some faith into yourself. Telling yourself that you're the world's top whiskey taster. And then going to their website, signing up, filling out their questionnaire, and then winning this thing. Because damn it, you got what it takes. You might not be as good as me, because let's face it, nobody is. I'm the best, the best on the planet. But I'm not entering this year. So I'm giving you a chance to really step outside your comfort zone and put some whiskey in your mouth zone and dominate. And if you don't dominate, you at least probably get a little bit of a buzz, which is also pretty cool. Good night.